All right, welcome everybody to There and Baka again. A wonderful new patch that is coming up here soon. Um, it will be live on a public test server in a little bit. I think it already is, so I have that downloaded here soon. And that way I can show you guys, uh, you know, the new Baka Sur in game and also the new skins. Uh, first thing to note is Death Machine and Feaster Bunny skins are not um, affected by this patch that is coming up. So you still have the little hunchback uh, Bakasura they all know and love for the Feaster Bunny and the Death Machine Bakasura. Uh, okay, so next we have the treasure chest. Treasure chests are being changed up a little bit. They're going to be called Odyssey Treasure Chest. And if you, some, you know, for some reason, if you, you know, you just keep away all your Odyssey chests uh, until later, they will eventually expire when the Odyssey ends and whatever, a few months or whatever. Um, now, there's going to be another tr another chest for, you know, this, uh, you know, Halloween coming up. The Halloween seasonal treasure chest. To celebrate Halloween, there's new treasure chest with seven exclusive Halloween items and one discount skin. Um, it's 400 gems. That, that's the important uh, point I want to make here. Instead of 200, there are 400 gems for these Halloween seasonal treasure chests. So, just keep that in mind. And then next, um, we have new god skins Demon Catcher Zonkui, the reanimated Osiris, Franken Top, Fra whatever. Uh, Osiris, so there's two Osiris skins. They're somewhat similar, they have the same voice back. Uh, and you can only get them with the Halloween Seasonal Treasure Chest. And also the Sydney Shredder Hebo. Pretty similar to a Hebro. Now, let's look at these skins, shall we? This is, um, I don't know, let's see. This is the re reanimated. Yes, this is the reanimated Osiris. I think I like this one over his other one, but you can judge for yourself. This is the Demon Catcher for Zonkui. That is the uh, the Franken top. Pretty cool, actually. I like the I like the coat. Coat's nice. Boxer. Uh, yeah, that's pretty similar to here, bro. That's the the Sydney Shredder. Although it does look cool. Oh, this is a uh, this, this is actually a new art card for Ares Destroyer skin. I love that. I love the boxer. So that's what those look like. Of course, I would go in game in the next video and show you guys what those all look like. Uh, new board skins, player icons, and yeah, some of these uh, icons that will be thrown into the Halloween uh, seasonal treasure chest. Update cards, miscellaneous. Oh, and as always, these patch notes will be in the description below. Now, Apollo. Apollo gets nerfed. There's nothing but nerfs in this in this patch, by the way. So. Uh, it says, well, they actually put notes in here now. We wanted to maintain the escape artist style that Apollo has while reducing his crowd control to be m more in line with other hunters. We like Apollo's utility in boxing situations with the protections from Serenade, but he will now have to accommodate or itemize for Magical Burst. Overall, this does not fundamentally shift how Apollo is played, but will help to put him a bit more in check. So, the Serenade, uh, the moves... Uh, yeah, okay, so Serenade no longer provides magical protection, only physical, so there you go. Uh, the moves reduced knockback impulse from 300 to 175, damn, resulting in much shorter duration. So I guess they won't be flying as long up in the air so you can turn around and, you know, hit them a few times before they land. Uh, quite a bit of bug fixes here. Let's go into the next nerf. Freya. I know a lot of people wanted Freya gone. <laughs> like, just removed out of the game. So, here's one step forward to that. Uh, with. Uh, Alright, so Freya's ulti. His, you know, her ultimate Valkyrie's discretion has been nerfed. Uh, with this ability, is way too easy for Freya to confirm damage and secure kills at range. The AoE area of effect. Bombs of Valkyrie discretion allow Freya to guarantee damage on targets that are kiting through minions or players, as well as extending her range to find kills under towers. The goal of this adjustment is added to a bit more of Freya's flight while making it more escapable for long distance targets. So the re radius has been reduced all around from 15 to 14, sorry, 15 to uh, 12 feet and then reduced range from 65 to 55 feet. So that's going to require a little bit more skill to land your ultimate now, Freya. 
Moving along, some general fixes. Rom has been nerfed as well because he's definitely one of the top picks in in in, uh, in league play. Definitely. So his ultimate takes a nice little hit as far as a nerf. Uh, Rom's Astro Barrage deals a large amount of damage semi globally and highly rewards skill and aim, and with escalating damage as the target er, gets smaller. His damage output and range from the dual lane may task like burning enemy tanks at the Gold Fury a bit too effective. His damage has been d downward adjusted to be more appropriate. So Astro Bar Barrage has taken a only a 50 point in the damage reduced there but uh, the big hit is the scaling factor from 80% down to 60% so you lost 50 points and 20% off your ulti. Now rolling assault uh, no just to fix okay next Savannah's I am glad Savannah's got nerfed I already knew that was coming we kinda all did uh, so basically his wisp his healing has been reduced by a lot um, so that way he's he's not like a healer <laughs> like if you were to get him in like hell and assault you would have a very bad day because uh, he would just be too sustained so Savannah's have had a very strong launch and with this patch we are making some pretty significant adjustments to bring him into better state. Wisp has had a cooldown increase to reduce effective uptimes of the uh, heal over time and protection buff as well as efficiency of the heal reduced. Uh, verdant growth was allowing for nature's grass to be a bit too easy to land and contributing to an ex exceptionally long CC chain. A reduced return is expected to reduce Nature's Grab's hit rate and allow for a counterplay in lane. So yeah, Verdant Growth uh, root duration reduced from 2 seconds to 1.25 seconds. That's actually quite a bit. So uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the patch. A uh, very small patch. They will have another patch in another two weeks. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in-game in the next few videos. Bye.